Hey everyone, it's me Tomas here and today I'm back with another video and today I'm here with my with the first part of my remake list of my top 12 retire steam excursion stars. So anyways, let's get started. Number 12 Cotton Belt number 819 This 484 Northern was built by the Cotton Belt's own Pine Bluff Shops in Pine Bluff, Arkansas in 1943 and it was the last steam locomotive if if purchased by the by the St. Louis Southwestern, better known as the Cotton Belt Route. 819 mainly saw service on both freight and passenger trains until its retirement in 1953, and in 1955, the locomotive was donated to, to, to a park in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and was later moved to another park. However, but unfortunately, during this time, the elements and vandals took their tolls on the on, on the 484 and by and it soon became a, a shell of its former self but thankfully in 1983 he, he, things things changed for the better when the when the newly formed cotton belt historical society removed the 819 from um, display and took it into the to the pine bluff shop for, for restoration which was completed in 1986 and the 819 returned to to steam the 819 may in saw, in pulled many excursions on cotton belt track, on cotton belt trackage, including in a trip to St. Louis, Missouri, for that year's NRHS convention, along with Norfolk and Western twelve eighteen, in Frisco fifteen twenty two, and Union Pacific number eight forty four. Unfortunately, nineteen ninety three would be the last year the eight nineteen would run, as it took a trip from Pine Bluff of Arkansas to Tyler, Texas, and back. Afterwards, the 819 was, was was sent back to the Pine Bluff shops, now which is now the home of the of the of the present day Arkansas Railroad Museum. Se several, there was an attempt to try to bring the locomotive back, but unfortunately, due to a lack in funding, the restora the full restoration, and now became a cosmetic restoration. At least that's what from what I've heard. But hopefully, with enough funds in the future, the 819 may return to Steam in some time and in the future. Number 11. Grand Trunk Western, number 4070. 4070 was first built by Alco back in, back, back in 1918 in, in for the Grand Trunk Western. And was originally numbered as as thirty seven thirty four, but eventually renumbered forty seventy in nineteen fifty. In the nineteen fifties, forty seventy saw service on freight trains on the GTW until its retirement. And in the nine in, in the nineteen in in sixties. In nineteen sixty eight, the the. the the, the light Mikado was leased by the Midwest Railway Preservation Society for excursion service, which restored the locomotive back to operating condition. It, the, the, the 282 saw, service, saw excursion service on Grand Trunk Western trackage and even a double header in 1977 with Reading 2102. Beginning in 1975, 4070 was leased out to the 4070 was used on excursions on the on the new Cuyahoga Valley line from Cleveland into Akron, Ohio. 4070 he saw some saw great made great runs during this time. But however, in the 1990s, his 4070 was retired after mechanical issues were discovered. But a and, and remains in storage at the former Baltimore and Ohio Roundhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, but, but it eventually underwent a second restoration. It's currently undergoing a second restoration as it, a second restoration by the Midwest Railway Preservation Society. But it will take a long time before the light Mikado is ready to run again. Number 10, Pennsylvania Railroad number 1361. Th this 462 Pacific 
it was was built by the by the Pennsylvania Railroad's own Altoona shops in in, in the nineteen in nineteen eight in nineteen eighteen. It saw service on, on PLR's premier passenger trains, including the Broadway Limited, until his retirement in 1956. It was eventually, it was eventually preserved or, and put on display at the, at the world-famed Horseshoe Curve in, or, or in Pennsylvania. Yeah. It remained on the curve there until 1985, when, when, the, when the 1361 was removed from, it, from, from, from the curve and taken to the former PLR are Altoona shops where she was built, which was now owned by Conrail for restoration, which was completed in 1980, in 1980, 80, 87. After, after returning into steam, 1361 saw service on excursions in, Pennsyl in, in Pennsylvania, mainly on Conrail trackage, but unfortunately, e, e problems sidelined her, up, but unfortunately, but, but unfortunately, problems had sidelined her the following year, 1988, which caused her to be retired indefinitely. In 1996, she was moved to Steamtown for restoration, but unfortunately in 2010, the restoration plans were cancelled. And, and, and the 1361 remained in pieces. But thankfully, the, the Railroad's Memorial Museum in Altoona, Pennsylvania, reunited the the pieces of 1361 that were there, er, and took it to a roundhouse, to a roundhouse where 1361 is currently undergoing restoration. And it will take a lot out in a, in some time before the K4S is ready to run again. But hopefully, in a few years, 1361 will will be steaming again in the near future.